trying. Oh, to there's run. another player. Okay. Who? Across, across. Turn around. He's in that building. What building? Uh, behind where I'm looking. Where I'm. Oh. oh kill no, me. he killed me. Oh, he killed me too. Oh, oh there's two of them. <laughs>
There's also like player levels. You level up on this game. There's different skills. There's like this gun skill that I guess makes you better, have better accuracy. I'm guessing it'll make you where you don't lose. Like, you know, in games when you get shot up and your aim wobbles while you're getting shot, I'm guessing that skill makes it to where it doesn't wobble as much. I don't know because at the when I got killed that one time, I guess that was the only time I ever got killed no, by the player. the uh, That what you seen in the intro. I couldn't shoot him because my thing was wobbling too much. And I'm guessing when you level up your gun skill, that'll get better. Maybe more damage. I don't know. There's melee skill. There's like survival skill because there is food. You have to eat to survive. Uh, different things like that. Uh, I like how you can level up. That's that's awesome. Uh, the save zones are pretty cool. I know Daisy didn't have any save zones. I don't know how Daisy is now. This is like Daisy when it first came out. It didn't have any uh, save zones. I know Warzy said it had it. I don't know Warzy. That game was kind of garbage. I didn't like it. Yeah, uh, I, I but this game has um, save zones, and you can also sell your stuff. But the save zones aren't like ultra safe. That's the thing. You'll walk in the save zone, and you will have to like climb these scaffolds and stuff. And there's like a bunch of nether Ooh. under. <laughs> I'm like looking at myself getting killed right here by this nether. This is laughing. Um. <laughs> The save zone's like above scaffold or whatever, so there's like a lot of monsters under scaffold. There's like one that blows up too, I didn't mention. There's another, when you get close to him, you hit him and he'll like explode. He's kind of easy to deal with, you kind of just hit him and back up, but he'll explode. So that's dangerous. Uh, the save zones, you can sell your weapons and stuff, but it's kind of crazy. I guess this is another thing I really don't like. Or it's just, I don't know if I don't like it as much as it is, it's kind of weird. But cigarettes and, and I guess my friend said... Her friend found a pan. That's computer. My friend, her friend, uh, found a pan, like a frying pan, and cigarettes, playing cards. They sell for a lot more than like some of the weapons, which is weird. Uh, you're trying to survive in this world. You would think guns cost a lot more than they actually do, but I, I guess people need to smoke. <laughs> so that that's kind of weird, but it's cool that you can even sell your stuff. There's flashlights and stuff you can buy. Um, that's awesome. What else do I like? There, There's also like this giant save zone that gets taken over by this giant reaper nether. Uh, I haven't seen this reaper nether, but I have seen the save zone getting taken over. And I tried to take it back over. The way you take it back over, I guess there's these nodes that you have to capture again. And once you capture them, the save zone is safe again. But when I ran over there, uh, this guy started getting chased by like 50 nether. And then this other guy started getting chased too. Like I ran into some kind of action and I was looking for my friend and I lost her. I didn't know where she went and <laughs> the guy died and they straight went all went for me and I couldn't do anything. I just got murdered. Uh, so it's cool that they take over the save zone. I guess it's only that one, but I'm guessing as the, the world expands, there will be more save zones that they could take over. But so far it's only that one, but that's awesome that they can even do that. And you hear like this siren knowing uh you can see me pull up the map and it's that blue uh circle with the house on it that's the save zone they take over and you can hear like the siren and it sounds really cool it's like danger uh this game looks awesome it's using unreal engine 3 it's kind of framey i should be able to run any unreal engine 3 game like max settings but this game i can't run at max settings to get the fps that i want so i had to turn some of the stuff down but even when you turn the stuff down and turn it up it really doesn't look that different uh, it looks awesome though. I like the style of the game. Uh, the night times are dark. I guess they recently made it darker because before you couldn't tell the difference between nighttime and daytime really. Because Nether get stronger at nighttime, so it's important that you know it's nighttime, I guess. Nighttime kind of looks weird though. Um, thinking about it, I guess another thing I don't dislike, which was a problem for me like in War Z2 and just. I guess games in general now are these microtransactions. Um, if you paid a certain amount of money for the game, you already dis uh, you already like supported the developer, you know, by buying the game. I remember back in the day, you bought like Super Mario 64, Mario like on Super Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers. That's the, you got the full game, you know, you got what you wanted. And uh, then like nowadays, like everything has a microtransaction. There's some stuff on here. I guess it's all cosmetic. I don't know if they sell guns or anything because that would be kind of crazy if they did. But I know they sell. My friend got a mask because she did buy the special edition. It gave her some of the uh, cash shop money, currency, or whatever. And she bought like a mask. And 
when you die, you lose everything, but you don't lose the stuff that you bought at the cash shop. But I'm guessing if they were to sell guns, that you should be able to lose that. Because if not, then that's that's power. Like, that's power. Especially on a game that you already bought, you know? I, I kind of like the fact that these games have microtransactions. And I guess that will be another video I talk about that, like, more in depth. But for now, I'm, I'm going to just leave it at that. Microtransactions in games that you already bought shouldn't exist. And you should get the full... Pr you should get the full product and if you want to buy I guess if they add more stuff then like okay like then you can buy like the DLC or whatever but this game like I said it's in beta and they already have stuff in the shop that you can buy which is that's crazy to me but I'll talk about that in another video but yeah uh, overall it is beta I guess it's early beta too they just started selling it that's another thing too, selling the beta, but I'll talk about that another another time too. But anyway, um, I really like this game for what it is. Uh, I like those Daisy style of games because you get a different feel out of them than you do other games. You you get a more survival feel than you do in like a horror game or whatever. So uh, yeah, I think you guys should pick it up and buy it if you like these type of games. This is one of the better ones. There's only like really three, Daisy, War Z, and this one. And a seven days to die, I guess, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, and then, yeah, so if you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and all that good stuff. And uh, buy this game. I suggest it. Buy this game. Anyway, peace out.